Many good dish dishes are made with boiled meat. Prove it. Prove it, chef. Show me a, a good dish that is made with boiled meat, and I still won't believe you. Is there any... Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more chef restaurant tycoon. It's another lunch rush here in Dave's Diner, and Conan and Jolita are merrily serving their customers. Well, merrily, they're mostly standing at the back, staring at them, hoping they go away and at least leave a good tip on their way out the door. So in the last part of Chef, we, well, we added something new to the menu and then we tried to add a different thing for to the menu and hit a glitch where I was told I had the right tools in the recipe editor but then I was denied that in the menu editor and I've recorded these back to back so that's not going to change this will not have been patched or fixed since then I've kind of recorded these well back to back there's no other easier way to explain it than that so with that being locked out going to my menu editor here yeah we created barbarian roast lamb which is really really good compared to everything else we've got on the menu and although I was told in the recipe editor that I had the correct thing to make this apparently here I don't so little fidgety little disappointing little glitchy but we will proceed on nonetheless and probably the next thing we should do is trying to get something else on the menu let's just try and keep fleshing out our menus we want to winnow down the starter set like the, the butter pasta I would have sworn up and down that I just flat out took that off the menu but there it is again let's make sure I've taken that off the menu yes I have definitely taken that off the menu this time I thought I did that last time could uh, you know what who knows it, it's largely irrelevant let's go to the recipe editor let's make something new just in time for the dinner rush how about a meat stew we haven't done anything along those lines let's do a meat stew let's do that not i don't think it's an appetizer let's do that as a main course again i, I wish i could name the dish after i was done creating it but here we are well, I wasn't able to do anything with my roast lamb, so how about a lamb stew? How about this is the Barbarian stew? There we go. It's all for Conan. Conan is the star of the front of the house. It's all about him. So the Barbarian stew. Let's start that. Obviously, we need a meat, and obviously, it's going to be lamb. We got the semi-decent lamb. Well, the mid-range lamb. It's not top tier, but it's not bottom tier either. So we'll put the second tier lamb in there as the base of our meat stew. Now, obviously, with a stew, we're going to need... It doesn't actually add anything, and I don't know if there's any real value in even putting it in here, but it needs water. I, I think that's something it should have. It adds literally nothing to it, but... It's a stew. I feel just sort of from a narrative perspective, it should have water in it. Now, it's not very salty right now. Let's try some salt. In the second tier, it's probably going to be too salty. Yep, no surprise there. No surprise there. Let's keep the salt in the third tier right there. Okay, good. Apparently, that's really, really good salt. We're putting in the second tier just completely oversalts it. I actually know a real-life restaurant like that. Their food is all mediocre, but they have really, really high-quality salt. Uh, it's, it's odd. It just kind of kicks everything up a little bit. Even though the rest of their food is largely mediocre, it seems better because they've got really good salt. So we're not very sweet, but it's a stew. I don't think we really want it to be very sweet, do we? Let's go to our veggies. It's a stew, so we need to put some veggies in there. Um, celery, that's a, that's a thing you would probably find in a stew. What happens if we add that to the second tier? Okay, eh, sort of metza metza there. Not so bad, not so great. Little from column A, little from column B. A uh, little garlic would not go amiss, although it's already pretty sour, and garlic is going to add more sourness. Hmm, that may not be the direction we want to go in. Some mushrooms would add, what, bitterness, but not sourness. What happens if we put that in the second tier? Okay, we're taking the fattiness down too, which is nice. I kind of like that. It's only mid-range in comparison to everything else we've got in the menu. What could we do to spice that up? And I actually do, in fact, mean spice that up. Give me my spices. We unlocked the Simon and Garfunkel quadrangle here with parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Kids, ask your parents. Parsley will add a little bit of sourness, so I don't... It's already pretty, pretty sour. I don't think we need to add to that. 
Let's try some Rosemary in the third tier. Okay, that's bumping up the overall relative recipe rating. How about some Sage in the third tier? A little bit up some more. Good. And you know what? Why not some time? How about time in the second tier? What will that do? Oh, that will jack up the relative recipe rating. Boy, people love time. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking the stew. This looks like a really good stew. Celery and mushrooms with a lamb base. Some spices. Um, any other veggies we might want to add to this? We did unlock zucchini. That, that doesn't really do a heck of a lot. I mean, it'll add a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of bitterness. What happens if we put that in the second tier? Oh, makes it a little too sour. Okay, take, take that out. Take that out. What happens if we put it in the third tier? Eh, not really thrilling me. Um, do we? No, we haven't done garlic yet. Oh, we got to get some garlic in there. It's oh, it's probably gonna make it too sour though. Yeah, it's too sour. Okay. Um, carrots again. We never have any luck with carrots, but let's give it a shot anyway. Cause carrots would be in a stew. That that seems sensible. Um, not loving that. How about what happens if we put carrots in the second tier? Too sour. Okay. I'm gonna keep carrots in the third tier. Yeah, because that still jacks up our relative recipe rating. Uh, according to this, this is the best thing we've got on the menu is this barbarian stew. I think, now, allegedly, we have the tools to make this, but we've been told this before and been lied to. Food cost, pretty good, 283 Takes a little while to make, 10 minutes. But I think we're going to lock this in. Let's lock this recipe in as a main course, as an entree, and let's get this on the menu. Okay, looking good on the barbarian stew. We are being told that we indeed have the correct tools to make this, unlike our roast lamb. That's really fussy. Let's get that over into the main courses, and let's start jacking up the price on that, because that's going to need to be... Let's get that up to, say, 10 bucks for the barbarian stew. Let's... Oh, can I... What does this do? What, what does that pencil do? I want to know what the pencil does. I'm clicking it, but I, but I can't do anything with it. Does that let me... Does that... Oh, does that let me maybe rename it? It may not have been fleshed out yet, but I've got a pencil next to the three things that I made. I bet that maybe coming down the line, maybe another patch or update, that might let me rename that dish, which would be fantastic. I would totally appreciate that if that's real. Um, clicking on this pencil does nothing at all right now, but that's my sort of game logic going off there. Um, Monkfish Surprise may actually be a little overpriced. Let's let's shave that down a little bit. Let's take that down to, say, 13 for that. That may be a little overpriced. I mean, we only had one person order it. Okay, what else could we mess around with? What are we lacking? What are we kind of lacking around here? We could do another app. I'm kind of basically okay with the main courses right now. Is there anything in here that we wanted to put in that we haven't yet? No, I'm not putting the tomato pasta back on the menu, although it is dirt cheap to make, 47 cents in food costs. Okay, we've got Monkfish Surprise, Barbarian Stew, and Duck Delights as an appetizer for the recipes that we've created. Let's see if anyone feels like ordering that. Let's go back to the menu and get things moving along here and actually get things moving a little bit faster here. We're coming just to the end of the lunch rush. I think these are probably going to be the last customers in here. We are also doing some advertising. At the end of the last one, we started advertising. So let me go to my uh, sort of policies and decisions here. Where is that? There we go. Yeah, policies. We've got a billboard advertisement going at 100 bucks a pop. I assume that's in our daily slash weekly budget that is going to target workers. So that's going to be, hopefully, boost us up 50% on blue-collar customers, which would be great. I'd love to see more blue-collar customers coming in and 10% less cheapskate customers. I'd like to get the cheapskates out the door. Good. All right, lunch rush is over. We're into the dinner rush. Let's speed it up a little bit and see how we do here. 
Well, I don't know who let this guy in the door, but this guy right here at this table clearly got into the restaurant without wearing a shirt. It ain't that kind of place. It's a health code violation. Look at you there. You clearly don't have a shirt on. No shirt, no shoes, no service, sir. Who let this guy in here? The health department could be over at any moment and we will get shut down. Kind of get a bouncer or a host in here. This, this, this just can't be allowed to happen. He's walked in half naked. No good. And he's waiting for food. I hope you ordered the monkfish surprise. Surprise, it's mostly monkfish shirtless dude. Now, in the last part of Chef, we did kind of point out the little new feature up here that was added where we kind of get an idea of I guess for sake of a better term, how things are going. So people are, if these icons were red, that would be a problem. People would be waiting for bills. People would be waiting for to be served. People would be waiting to be greeted. I have noticed during the dinner rush, no red icons coming up. Conan and Julita seem to be broadly able to handle everything that's going on in the restaurant in a timely manner. So where I've got a tiny bit of money and I've got the space, it's not going to hurt to throw down one more table. I think I can squeeze one more more table into this place. Uh, give me tables. Maybe just a two top. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe just a two top here. We'll put that, kind of get out of my way here, chef. Kind of put that here in line with these guys. Just one more table. Nothing crazy, nothing mental. I'm sure the team will still be able to handle this, but it's just one more party we could be seeding just a little tiny bit more money that we could be making during the day. So Conan's cleaning up some tables. Where are we at? 11 o'clock. Well, we know Conan's a lunatic and he's probably going to seat someone around midnight. Some straggler will come in 10 minutes before the place is going to close and Conan's going to go ahead and seat them even though Julita and I want to go home, but that's fine. It's all money, Conan. Your 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 enthusiasm is to be credited. You you are a credit to your industry, and I'm sure Julita will get along bo on board with that pretty soon because she's learning from you. Okay, let's get these guys cleared out. I want to get to the end of the day. I want to see what people ordered, what people think of us, and what our money situation is like. Okay, there we go. Whatever that last guy ordered, it took forever to cook. All right, so we're we're down. We're down on our money for today, and that's it's probably the advertising. It's I mean it, it is costing us money to do that. So where are we at? We five oh one. Why did we make so much yesterday then? Hmm. Don't know about that. All right, expenses eight thirty seven. Yeah, personnel and rent. We can't do anything with that. Maintenance. Now, where is my advertising? I would expect that to be in other. That's where I would expect to see the advertising budget that we have. Okay. Hmm. Boy, this could really... And I'm, I'm not the only one to say it. The, the sort of balance sheet, the budget sheet is quite vague. It's quite, quite vague. Yeah, see, last week we did 1372. Today we only did 501. Is this a day? Is this a week? What's going on? I don't know how to calculate my money and I'm not good at it anyway. Making it harder is not helping me. Okay, let's let's proceed. Let's proceed. Okay, slow it down, guys. Slow it down. Yep. Yeah, it's a brand new day. We've we've got people coming in. That's fine. But first thing we need to do at the beginning of the day is, you know, spend our experience points and our ingredients points. Before we do that, I just want to look at what people were ordering. What what was coming out of the window here. Um, apple cream pie, grilled steak, grilled steak, good. Yeah, sh taking whatever it is we took off of the menu there, more people are ordering the grilled steak. Not really so much on the monkfish surprise. I'm also not seeing my new stew, the barbarian stew coming up here. But we are still inundated with cheapskates and those things aren't cheap. Yeah, see this, these two right here, Arav and Diego just came in and ordered a beer. That's got to get these cheapskates out of here. And I don't know how many different things I need to do to make that happen. I mean, advertising for blue collar workers is good. Um, but boy, it's just 100% cheapskates again. Maybe if I just jack up the price so they don't come in. I also noticed apparently none of these people spent any money. That could be why we have no money. 
None. All of the they spent no money, not a dime. Do we have another chef glitch to add to the list? Because not a darn one of these people spent a dime. That's why we have no money. They all ordered things. They all ate them. Nobody paid for them. Every single person yesterday did a dine and dash. Conan, Shalita, you want to keep an eye out for that when when you know when you give them the bill, make sure they actually paid for it in real money, not just pretend money. Ah, these people down the bottom paid a little bit. These people up the top, not so much. Not sure what's up with that. Gonna kind of assume that's a glitch and hope for the best. Except it's a really bad glitch, because I'm gonna go broke. Especially if Stefan here just keeps ordering a single beer. All right, well, let's go to our reviews. What do people broadly think about us? Ambience, they love the ambience. Not so much with the prices. Good. Good, I want the cheapskates out the door. Good, get them out of here. And we're still broadly meh. We're still rocking a solid three and a half stars. All right. Well, that's fussy with the money problem issue there. Let's go uh, spend our experience points. I want to keep going up the meat route for a couple of reasons. One, I very much want to get fried meat on the menu because we've got the fryer. It's just sitting there largely useless because we don't have any fried recipes. So we're already on track for meat. We may as well get to fried meat. Now, how many... Uh I wish this kind of told me where I was at in terms of the number. Like, I get 5 and 15, but is this sort of a 9 area, maybe? I just kind of want to get a feel for... Because if I'm at 9, that would be one thing. If I was at 10, that would be a different thing. All right, you, uh, never mind. It's all fine. It's all fine. Let's get... Well, let's definitely get our cost down. That's a good thing to get down. Prep time down. That would be really good with meats. Meats generally take a long time. Uh, and then these are all... Oh, these are all meat times down. Oh, let's get that. Yeah, let's get two points in that, actually. That'll get all of our meat recipe times down. That's really solid. And quality up. Sure, I'll take one point in that. That's fine. Um, what could I actually be unlocking here? Boiled meat. While boiling meat is often considered a crime. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. We're, we're not in London. We don't need to boil meat. It's just, oh, it's ridiculous. Many good dish, dishes are made with boiled meat. Prove it. Prove it, chef. Show me a, a good dish that is made with boiled meat, and I still won't believe you. Is there anything, I mean, we can unlock that. That will put something different on the menu. But is there anything else we could be, we haven't done roasted fish, but we didn't have any luck with the roasted meat. I don't want to run into the same problem unlocking this that I'm told I can make it, but then I really can't. I don't want to run into that issue again. I don't want to waste the points, frankly. So, um, sure, boiled meat. Why not? We're going to boil some meat in here. And then probably the next level, the next day, we'll be able to unlock some of these other things. Uh, meat tartare, which was highly recommended in the comments section, and fried meat, which I just personally want on the menu. Okay, let's unlock some ingredients. Let's get some more vegetables going on, because we haven't had a lot of luck with the ones we have. So what if we took, say, uh, peppers? Peppers at uh, level... Is that level one? No, I don't want level one, actually. I'd like... Uh, level two peppers. Let's get some decent peppers in here. So give me level two peppers, except not level one peppers. Undo level one peppers, please. Oh, you're going to make me keep level one peppers, aren't you? Oh, uh, sometimes things are fidgety. Fine. Lock that in. Lock that in. I got a whole bunch of peppers on the menu right now. Spinach at level two. I'll take that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Now we did just get boiled meat. Is there anything we want? We could just get higher quality beef. That might be smart. That might be smart. Uh, with five points left over, I'm not going to have much left to do after I get this. So, sure, you know what? Let's get the higher quality beef on the menu. That's fine. And then I'd like to get uh, some more sort of generic all-rounder things like spices and whatnot into here. With only two points left, I could get one mid-range or two low-range. Probably best to go with anything over here that I'm missing. That's no, just more booze, right? Uh, legumes. You know what? I don't think we got a single darn legume on the menu. 
Not one. We should probably do that. We have no nuts and no legumes. That should probably be rectified. Like beans. We should probably have beans. That probably could have gone in the stew. Um, oh, kind of wish I could unlock all the things I just locked. Take level two beans. Level two beans. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's see what kind of fun we can have with that. Now, let's go create with our boiled meat. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go create a new recipe. Well, we may as well take advantage of something that we've unlocked, although... It is heresy to boil meat. We will boil some meat in Dave's diner. Let's name this, you know who was famous for boiling meat is my British grandmother. So let's call this grand, oh, no, no, let's spell it correctly. Grandma's beef. There we go. She, she'd boil everything and just go in one big pot and just be boiled until it was tasteless and flavorous flavorless all right grandma what do you got for me so we may as well get our high quality beef now does that live in a different place yes it does it lives down here so let's get our high quality beef in there and that is interesting to know i would have assumed that the higher quality would just take the place of the lower quality but no we could actually choose to have lower quality beef in here, but we won't. We'll have good beef in here. Now, what could we add to this? Let's uh, give me my legumes. Where did those go? I, I want to go play with the beans here. Nuts, no, um, where, where, no, not alcohol. Where, where do legumes live? There we go, beans, there we go. Um, so what are beans gonna add? A bit of sourness, no, bitterness, and a little bit of sweetness. So what if we did beef and beans here? What's that gonna do? Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Taste of 15. All right. Um, we clearly need to salt that up a little bit. So give me uh, my salt. And as usual, we'll put the salt in the third rack here because that adds a little bit of salt, but not a crazy amount of salt. How about, what are we really lacking? Sourness and sweetness. Like, okay. How much is this going to kill it if I put honey in here? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay, take the honey out. Take the honey out. Honey was a terrible idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the honey. What did we, uh, what do we got kicking around here? We unlocked peppers and spinach. How about some spinach in the second tier here? Okay. And what happens if we add peppers into there as well? Okay, it's really shaving down the salt and the sweetness. But the taste is going up. As indeed it should. We've added spinach and peppers. That sounds pretty yummy. What if this also had... Oh, that's going to really... I was going to say onions, but that's going to way overdo it on the sourness. We need to back off on the sourness here. Um, we have no nuts unlocked. How about uh, just some basic spices? How about some other... What, what do we got in here? Oh, yeah, right. We have, we've got Worcestershire sauce. What, what's that going to do if I put that in the third tier? Oh, that's going to kill it on the sourness and bitterness. Yeah, I'm not wholly surprised by that. Not super surprised by that. Um, what else could... We, what, hap what happens if we put beer in this? What happens if we put... Or red wine? Well, it's going to be way too sour. I don't want to do that. What happens if we just put some beer in this thing? What does that do? Makes it too sour. Okay. What happens if we put that in the in the third tier here? Still shaving down the salt. What happens if we take salt out of here and put it into the second tier? Now that we need it to be actually more salty. Okay, that's that's not terrible. It could afford to be sweeter and fattier, but we've got we've got kind of a broad thing going on here. There's some beef and beans with some veggies soaked in beer. Beer basted beef, I guess. Beer boiled beef. I want to rename this game. I want to rename this right now. See, this is what I'm saying. I should create the recipe and then name it. So now grandma's a bit of a fiend for the blonde beer. So that, that you know what, that's fine. It, it's not completely, um, it's not completely wrong. Truth be told, it's not completely wrong. Are there any carbs that we want to throw in here? Breadcrumbs would add a little bit of saltiness. Interesting. Okay. Bread? which is flat out give us a little saltiness, a little sweetness, and a little bitterness. Obviously, nothing really here is going to be fatty. That's that's not what we're going for here. Um, what else could we do? Or are we just broadly okay with this 
as it is? And I, I think the short answer is, yeah, I'm willing to put this on the menu unless something leaps out at me in the next couple of seconds. Um, spices? could spice it up a little bit. I refuse to put mint in this because I'm just not a fan of mint. But, 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 we could put, say, um, actually, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Right, I know, I know, I know things pair. That's fine. What actually, what actually does pair well? Oh, black pepper does very well in the aroma area with beef. Let's get some of that in there. How about we put that in the third tier? Obviously, it doesn't really add anything, but it's going to make it smell nice. So sure, sure, we'll do that. And I think, you know what? Let's lock this in. Let's lock in grandma's beef that I would actually prefer to call boiled beer beef. But here we are. Here we are. Let's lock that in and put that on the menu. Now, the only problem with grandma's beef is it costs us a lot to make it. And that's that tier three beef right there. It's really good beef in grandma's that is secretly boiled beer beef recipe. But let's get it on the menu. Let's get that in there. Ooh, this may have to be a bit of a loss leader here. We may not, oh, now why do you keep jumping like that? We may not get our rule of thirds here, but let's get that up to, say, yeah, $12. We're not going to make a huge profit on it. We're not going to make a huge profit, but let's see how it plays out. Let's see if people are digging this. And while we're here, seeing as everybody's ordering the cheap blonde beer, let's bump that up and let's bump up the red beer while we're here. They can each pay a buck more for that. And how is our restaurant doing? It's vegan friendly. Really? Really? I'd like to actually have it not be vegan friendly because that's shaving down the number of blue collar and lower class tourist customers and lower class family customers. And I want those people. What is so desperately vegan here? Well, all the booze. That's the thing. I could take the garlic potato soup out. That's vegan. I could just flat out take the light salad out. Yeah, you know what? Get the light salad out of here. And what happens if I take out the garlic potato soup? Does that make it not vegan friendly? No, the menu's still vegan friendly. Okay. Eh. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get this to be not vegan friendly. I don't want a vegan restaurant, but apparently I've got one. Alright, let's put the uh, garlic soup back on the menu. I, I I kinda a lot of people seem to order that. Let's get that uh, another dollar up, sure, absolutely. How about two dollars up? Pay for it. And we're also vegetarian friendly. There's not a hell of a lot I can do about that. We've got a lot of vegetables on the menu. When as soon as I can unlock fried foods, you guys are going to be in business. Then we'll get some blue collar people in here because that's America. Well, the place is full and we're down 30 bucks because nobody's paid their bill yet. I wonder, in fact, is anyone paying their bill at all? Is this a major glitch where I'm going to go bankrupt because nobody is paying their bill? As soon as some of these people, this is just the first rush of the lunch rush. As soon as a few more of these people get out the door and allegedly pay their bill, I'd like to look at our balance sheet and see if, uh, you know, anyone's paying for their food. Largely, is anyone paying for their food? So get me, uh, slow it down a little, guys. Let's look at our, uh, who's he, what's it here, our orders. Okay, they seem to be paying for it. That's good. That's good. Nobody is ordering. It's Okay, we're getting some more blue-collar people in, but still mostly cheapskates. That butter pasta's got to come off the menu. They're all just coming in for that. Nobody is ordering the boiled beef, I see. And now we're back into zero again. I wonder if it's just glitching where it's resetting at the end or beginning of a shift. I don't know. It's it's very fussy and fidgety. And again, this is early access and things are being patched and repaired and tweaked constantly. So at any given moment, none of this information may be relevant. This could all change at the drop of a hat. I'm, I'm surprised it's not being patched as I'm playing it, that something isn't popping up saying, oh yeah, just hold tight. We're going to fix that right now because they are actively patching and, and tweaking this. So that being said, let's speed through to the dinner rush. And, well, I really want to get through to the end of the day and see what our overall money looks like on a full day like this. Well, we'll find out. Well, we are deep into the dinner rush and we are still hemorrhaging money at this point. Absolutely hemorrhaging money. I don't think we can afford to advertise. 
I, I think the advertising is what's just killing us right now. I mean, I'm sure many things are killing us because ain't nobody tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay, but I think the advertising budget has got to go. So get me back to my policies and decision. Yep, sorry, no more billboard advertisements. No more billboard advertisements. Let's just shut that down right now. Um, I would love to advertise. Hell, I'd, I'd love to spend a ton of money on advertising, get some better clients in here, a little better clientele, a little better upper class. And by upper class, I mean blue collar. But we just cannot afford to do that right now. We are we're going to go bankrupt at this rate. And I'm not 100 percent sure what to do with that right now, although I'm kind of thinking to myself while I'm saying that out loud. Where are we at? It's uh, coming up on 11 o'clock. Conan, as usual, probably seat people 10 minutes before this place is going to close because that's the kind of maniac that he is for tips. But I do want to just skate through to the end of the day and see what our money looks like. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and assume this is another glitch. Apparently, we made no money at all. We made zero money. Huh. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and dispute that game because people came in and ate food and paid their bill. So when you say earnings of zero, I don't think that's correct. I think that might be a bit of a glitch. Our expenses make sense. I, I get the expenses. That's that's fine. Um, still not really sure where I should be seeing the advertising. I, I feel that should be in other, but maybe it's in maintenance, I guess. I don't know. This is so vague. Very, very vague. Okay. Um, let's proceed and immediately pause it because clearly we have some issues to look at here. And so now see, here's the thing game. Here's the thing. Um, these people clearly did pay for things, but you haven't put the money in the bank account. Somebody didn't make the deposit apparently because clearly these people did pay for things. They didn't pay for anything I made, which is most frustrating. Now, see, back up here, we're back up to zero again. Yeah, yeah, chef, um, chef restaurant tycoon. We're kind of missing the tycoon part here, the part where I'm making money. So that, our, I am seeing a few more blue collar people. That That is nice. I, I do appreciate that. Nobody paid for anything I made. Nobody bought anything I made. That's, that's really sad, actually. I, I kind of feel like a real chef. Like, I go to all this effort to create a dish, and literally nobody buys it. Okay. Oh, there's there's my monkfish surprise from Harry. Yeah, that was like yesterday or something like that. Okay. Um, sure. This is this is working out great. Um, our our, our blue-collar workers would love some fried food. I'm working on it. I think we're actually going to get that unlocked in in this day, but... Um, yeah, I don't know quite what's going on here, but apparently whomever is in charge of going to the bank didn't make the deposit because we clearly got paying customers, but no money is showing up here. Obviously, this is a brand new day, but you know what I'm saying. No money is showing up here. We have zero money and we're going to go bankrupt very, very quickly at that rate. That's not going to work out well at all. Again, kind of missing the tycoon part of the restaurant tycoon game. Looking over our reviews, we're still basically mediocre. I'm mildly offended that this cheap skate said it was a waste of money. You didn't actually pay for your food. According to the game, you didn't pay for your food, so don't worry about a cheap skate. It wasn't a waste of money at all. We're still solidly meh. We're, we're, we're in a very good, 58% of the people say we're very good. You know, between that and average, we're still going with this solid three and a half star review. That's fine. That's totally fine. Some people love us. Some people don't. Not, nobody thinks we're terrible, which is good. 0% think we're terrible, which is excellent. A couple of people think we're poor. Probably this cheapskate who dined and dashed and then complained about the prices. You'll come again. You'll give it a go. It was a surprise. Was it the monkfish surprise? Are you Harry? Did you did you order the monkfish surprise? Because the surprise was that it was mostly monkfish. In fact, it was just monkfish. Basically just monkfish. Didn't expect much, but at the end of the lunch, I felt quite satisfied. Definitely worth the price. Well, thank you. I'm going to pretend you're Harry and you were the only person who ordered my monkfish surprise. Surprise! It's a monkfish. Okay, um, what do we do with this information? I think the only thing we can really do here, team, Conan and Jolita, is um, hope this gets patched. 
we're going to have to kind of call it here on Chef. Obviously, I, I can't keep going if nobody's paying for their food. So we'll call it here on Patch. I'll, I'll check in, in in a day or so. Again, this thing is being patched and tweaked and, and messed with frantically. So it wouldn't surprise me if that got dealt with sooner rather than later. But um, we'll... we'll Call it a day on, on Chef for right now, and then when we pick it up again, hopefully this has been fixed. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very quick quick bankruptcy situation. Not unlike a real-world restaurant, where you put the thing up, you make no money, you close it down. That's how the real-world restaurant industry generally goes. But for now, we'll... We'll, we'll call it a day on Chef, and we'll pick it up again next time. Hey, if you've enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe checking it out for the first time, go ahead and maybe hit that subscribe button so you can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.